All right, so this is episode number two of Danny Myers versus Saw Flair Soul Preparation Blog. Just kind of take y'all into, you know, my process and how I kind of get ready. So typically I wake up at 7 a.m. Thank God for waking me up. I'll check on the kids. I don't normally eat breakfast. Um, I'll check text messages, phone calls, emails, things of that nature. I'm a bit of a hermit. I kind of don't. <laughs> I'm kind of like an introvert. And like... I treat this like a job, so I'll come right in here into this room. Uh, this is my little studio, so I'll come in here. Now y'all see, uh, yeah, I was in nature. I was in nature on the first blog. Excuse the junkiness. Uh, I'm it's a work in progress. I'm getting it together. So I'll come in the studio. Like I said, I'll check messages, emails, things of that nature. I'll. Look over my notes. So if y'all look right here, this is just my top floor loot round that's already open. Um, my man NASA McMahon, shout out to NASA McMahon, West Memphis, West Memphis, Arkansas. He, I don't know if he even know he taught me this, but I used to write my rounds like all the way in just paragraph form, like just one block from top to bottom and just remember it like that. A section at a time but one day I saw on his phone how he wrote his shit and I kind of adopted that like he'll write four bars let me see if I can so he'll write four bars make a space and then go down to the next four make a space and so forth right so what I would do is I'll remember the first four bars I'll write a transition bar which is will be over here, Glock War, around the top floor. That'll help me chain connect from here to here, linking this paragraph to this one so I can get to the next set of bars. And we'll go over that later in my future writing tutorials. So I'll remember these first four, then these four. So now I know the first eight bars. Uh, as you can see, I write it line by line. So where you see that slash, that's a bar. So this whole line is a bar. So as you can see, some of them are shorter, some are some of them are longer, but they all line up um, just kind of like on a metronome. Um, everybody got their own process. But anyway, so I'll remember four, then eight. I know these eight, I'll move on to the next block. Now I know these four, now I know 12 bars. Now once I get to this section, that goes 16 bars that I know without looking on the on the phone, right? So now I got one minute of rap memorized. So I'm on to the next. Every 16 is roughly a minute. So that's how I pretty much count my bars. So if I got like a two, a two minute, a two minute round, for example, I know I need 30, 32 bars. I need 32 bars for two minutes. Uh, and I do 46 to 48 bars for a three minute round. So I'll just kind of just remember it block, block, block by block until I know the whole round. So shout out to NASA. Um, uh, let's see, what else do I do? I really just say these bars from like sun up to sundown. It's really the only way to, to memorize properly. You know, I've, I've, I've remembered rounds within a matter of, a, of an hour. I, rem I mean, I've been doing it for so long, so it, it, the, the memorization process isn't too difficult, but I will say, and I think any battler will tell you, it's the least fun part of battle rap. Like, the writing part is, is, is fun because you get to just explore your mind and take things from, you can get inspiration from conversations or, or TV shows or video games or from your kids or from work, school, anywhere. Inspiration literally can just spring up from anywhere in terms of just coming up with a bar and putting it into a just a clever idea, right? But memorizing this stuff is probably like not fun. That's pro like probably a lot of y'all didn't even finish school because of you had to remember shit, you know what I'm saying? So, but once you just get into the, the habit, the routine of, okay, I know these four, I know these four, I got eight, I know that. And you just say it over and over like a song. Some people um, will record their verses on, into their phones and put on headphones and just listen to it over and over and learn it like a song. You know, um, I've tried that technique. Um, I don't think that really don't work for me. For, for me, it's just 
the repetition of saying the raps. Like I say the raps themselves and then I'll learn my rap. So uh, I'll write notes. I'll write notes. I might just have one line, right? I might just, let me see if I got an example. So right here, right here, only thing that's in this note is, is Shang Tsung, Mortal Kombat character. So I'm when I'm thinking about soul and I'm thinking about, okay, Shang Tsung used to change into different people or he would steal their souls. Um, how do I turn that into a bar? So it's, it, it's blank. Like basically when I flesh out that idea and put it into a round, then I'll erase the note. Cause I already, I don't need it there no more. Like those are just little footnotes of, damn, that's a bar. Footnotes, foots, footnotes. So that's a bar. So there's a bar in there somewhere. I'm silly. So I'll, I'll piece together ideas. Like sometimes you don't, you might only come up with a line, but from that line, you can flesh it out and turn it into a whole different separate idea. And, and, and so you just build on each individual bar and line and create just these, these, these rounds. So anyway, <laughs> we'll get into that later. So it's all about just getting your memorization right once you've got all the, the material written out and just going over it pretty much night and day. Now I will say when I first started battle rapping, whoa. When I first started professionally battle rapping, I would have 30 days, 45 days to prepare. So what I would do is like the day the battle got booked, I started writing right then and there. And so I was able to come up with around a day basically. So if the, so if the battle got booked on a Monday, by Wednesday I would be done writing all three rounds. And I would still have a whole nother three weeks before it's time to actually get in the ring and battle. So I, now I'm just waking up and I'm memorizing and I'm just reciting it to the point where the shit damn near don't even sound good no more. So I got this regimen. I got this technique called war, W-A-R. It's called write and recite. Write and recite. It's war. Also, another one, I just, I just, I, and I put that in my notes. It's up here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Right here. Clock in, lock in. So what, what that means is I treat this as if it were a job, so to speak. Like I would come into my office and from nine to five, I put in an eight hour shift of writing and reciting. I have to treat this like a job. Clock in, lock in. Take this craft very seriously because everybody that knows me knows that I said the separation is in the preparation. You know, I've had battles where I wasn't clean. I, I choked Stumbled, looked through my phone, all kind of shit. I done did it all. Y'all seen me in Real Sick. Y'all seen me in Stewie Newton. Me and Paz. Just, man. It's the worst thing ever. Because you take all this time to write some of the best material in the world. And you want to present it to the, to the world. And you want to beat your opponent. But you end up beating yourself. Because you wasn't prepared. A uh, uh, MC with lesser raps. A MC with lesser writing ability can beat you if you're not ready. That's why they say um, hard work always going to be talent if the talent don't work hard. That's that's so true. So somebody who might not be as good as you can beat you in a battle because they worked harder and they outworked you. Look, I got bars in here for everybody. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Full of their soul. There's next. Oh, man. Y'all better stop playing with me. Y'all better stop playing with me, man. I got bars in here for everybody. I got bars in, in my notes for Lux. 
uh, Moot, T-Top, everybody that I haven't battled. Ill Mac, Head Ice. I just stay ready so I ain't got to get ready. And I might not even have like a whole three rounds, but I'll have general ideas or setups or or punch lines or just things that I could flesh out later when those when those battles get locked in. Now I have at least a a starting point or a building point. So it's always just dope to just constantly be writing and thinking about, well, if I ever battle this person, what would I say? Oh damn, that's dope. I came up with a line. All right, let me just jot this down. You might not battle the person for years. Like some of these bars that I've said in battles, I've had them for years. I've had bars for Tay Rock probably for about five years. Uh, oh, pretty much everybody. Old Red. I had old bars for Old Red years before we battled. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just always good to be to be prepared. So uh, I know South Flare Soul is doing the same thing, right? It's right now. What time is it? It's probably. Probably, oh, 12.15 a.m. It's 12.15 a.m. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, this is what they call the spooky hours. It's like, you know, from 12 to maybe 4 in the morning, I'll, I'll be up in, in here or outside taking a walk, just rapping and, and, and preparing. I'll take it that serious and I'll come get like three hours sleep, wake up at 7, do it all over again. I'll take two. I'll take two hours off from from seven to nine just to get little house things done. And then, like I said, nine o'clock, it's time to clock in and lock in. And so I'm just in here. If I'm not like you know recording uh, videos and and uh, going live and you know just just working on this, these different projects, film projects, all kind of things that I got going on. This is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly working, man. I'm constantly working. You know, the, uh, shout out to I'm God Works. These are, these are dope. That's the squad, man. You know, I, I kind of go hard for these people and that woman right there. I go hard for them. These are goats. Like, look at, look at these people. Brandon on his way to being one. But when you look at Hustle and Geechee and Av and Nitty and JC, it's like, yeah, man. Oh, shout out to uh, <laughs> Big Trouble in Little China. I got to put my alien poster and shit up in here too. But but yeah, man, this, this is my little office space. I'll come in here. I'll, 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 I'll get, get to writing. I'll get to thinking. And, you know, once I get like too cooped up in here, I just head outside. I'll, I'll, I'll walk the neighborhood. I'll, I'll go to the lake. I'll hit a mountain. And like I said on, on the first blog, you just kind of get in tune with nature and get away from the house and get away from the distractions and the, the video games and the Netflixes and all the TV and all the, the, the just the, you got to get away from that and really lock in, focus on doing the job because this is a job. It's really, you know, some people, if, if, you, if you think it's a hobby and you take it as a hobby, in the ring, it's going to look like a hobby. If you take it as a job and treat it as a job, in the ring, it's going to look like you're doing a professional job. And, and the, the difference is always going to show. The amount of work and hours and effort that you put into this will always show in the ring. Now, you know, to be honest, I've had days where I wrote the battle the day of the battle. Three rounds grilled myself and memorized you know I just sometimes you just got life going on and and you can't really prepare the way you wanted to but you still want to show up and I've got through those rounds clean you know and then there's been times where I tried that shit and it didn't work you know what I'm saying it's 50 50 um but I don't recommend I don't recommend that for anybody I, I always feel like should at least be done two weeks out before your battle Give yourself, give the brain enough time for the, the bars and the transitions and the all this stuff to be fully, be able just to, to seep into the fabric of your inner core. You have to become one with the rhyme. It's almost a spiritual thing. Like this, these shit right here, man, these, these, these words, these, these, like, yeah, this shit is from like 20, 20, 2005. Dead serious. Look at the damn dates on these joints. 
2005 shits, right? But uh, this has to become part of you. You have to treat this battle rap shit like this here. This ain't like, I remember, shout out to Elzai. But I remember Elzai said a line where it was like, I opened my rap book and it's like the only thing that's not going to cheat on me. He he's he feel like his rhymes is more loyal to him than his woman and his friends and his family. These right here, if you were MC, this is not ever going to cheat on you. So don't cheat on it. And what I mean by that is don't write your raps and not be saying your raps, not caring about your raps, not thinking about your raps, not becoming in tune with your raps. Because how can I best explain it? Y'all remember on Avatar when they had to lock their 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 their, their hair locks and and it would connect with the 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 flying beast and they would interlock and become one and that's how you was able to fly that that dragon thing. That's how your rhymes need to be with your brain and your soul. This right here needs to be locked in with you and y'all need to be on one accord. Because they, they right here waiting on you. These ain't going nowhere. These words will not go nowhere. These words is not going nowhere. If you wrote them in your computer. Hold on. Let me see. Let me find some more raps. I mean, I got a million raps in this joint, right? You know what I'm saying? A million raps, right? Let's, just go to, let's go to this joint. Me and Robster. Rhymes that I forgot. I forgot this verse. And it was fire. Shout out to Robster. But I forgot this verse in the battle. They was right here. They don't go nowhere. You got to come to them. It's not like they're not trying to come to you. The raps is saying, hey, why are you playing a video game? Hey, why are you macking with all these girls? And, you know, why are you sleep? Why are you not spending time with me? I'm here waiting for you to 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 get this work done. But the raps can't make you get off the computer or off the, the video game. The, the raps can't make you get to work. You got to be willing to get up and put the work in with these raps. And you'll become great. You'll become a legend. Your name will be etched in stone. Just put the work in. Put, put everything else down and, and pick this up. Put everything else down and pick that up. I don't care what time of the morning, what time of the day. Because when they see this thing I got on me right now, I don't, I don't even know if it's, but you, saw, you see the, this, this, once they put this on you and they say, okay, it's your turn. Get in that ring. Okay, round one is on you, Danny Myers. Guess what happens? He don't come with me. My phone, this computer, all this shit ain't in the ring with me. It's just me and my, it's just me and what I got stored here. And if if this, if this ain't in here, I'm a dead man walking. Because my opponent, he got this in here. Y'all better, y'all better take it from me. I didn't, I didn't been through the worst of the worst, and the world, and the world was right there to watch me have meltdowns. Y'all better talk to uh, Tory Doe. Shit, y'all better talk to, to to Chess and a few others that you know that discipline gonna always show whether you you did the work or you didn't. Because again, them raps ain't going to cheat on you. You only can cheat on them. So yeah, this is uh, part two. Danny Myers preparing for South Flair Soul. The battle is coming right up in a few hours. The battle is a few hours away. I, I, I'm not asleep. I'm up. I'm sweating. And I'm doing this shit, man. Let's see how this shit play out. 
We got to start back promoting these battles. Soul is fire. He's, he's coming for blood. <laughs> I ain't trying to be the one bleeding. But if you ain't reading, you bleeding. That's a bar. Bar guy. Y'all tune in for the next episode. Peace.